Rachel Davis here, Director of Music at the Church at Highland Park, and welcome back to Hymn of the Week. Every Wednesday we gather together and we talk about some of my favorite hymns, the classics, the favorites that sit in our hymnal every week that we would be singing now if we were together. We talk about the music, the text, the history, and the meaning behind these wonderful hymns. And this week we're going back to one of those oldies and goodies, Shall We Gather at the River by Robert Lowry. Let's check it out. Not very often do we get to see that hymns are written, text, and music by the same person. It's actually more rare than you'd think. Here we have a great example of someone known for writing the text and the music to some of our favorite hymns, Mr. Robert Lowry, or as his friends called him, the good doctor. Robert Lowry was the perfectly typical Baptist man. He attended church all of his life. He started writing hymns at a young age, and he wrote some of our favorites. We've got All the Way My Savior Leads Me, Nothing But the Blood of Jesus. Robert Lowry was the great American hymn writer. The text and the music usually came to him together, and he could just put out hymns for everyone to hear. But one day... He writes, Shall We Gather at the River? And usually for Robert Lowry, he describes his hymn writing experience as just seeing dis pictures or seeing images of what the hymn is supposed to be. So he's, he finds these images maybe out in nature, maybe in a church service, in these very natural places for him to see images of how the hymns are to come to life, and then he writes them. But on this day, July in 1864, we have the most unnatural way that Robert Lowry could have written this hymn. The story goes that he was the pastor at a church called the Hanson Place Baptist Church in Brooklyn, and the weather was sweltering. So he goes and he lays on a pew, and he is sweating, heat exhaustion is taking over, and he starts to have a vision. He starts to have what you could call the fever dream of shall we gather at the river. And it goes like this. Suddenly, he sees the apocalypse before him take form, and he sees the throne brightest of all, this heavenly river and the saints are gathering around him. He says his soul took a new life and a new celestial outlook. He says he wonders about the other hymn writers, and he's looking at the pureness of the water of this heavenly river, and then all of a sudden the saints start singing, shall we gather? Not even shall we gather at the river, shall we gather? And the angels reply, yes, we'll gather. So he wakes up and this music comes to him and he starts jotting it down and shall we gather at the river was born. So if you're feeling like it's one of those hot days outside, the Texas summer that's about to come up, go sit outside and see if you can write a hymn. I bet you it'll work. And that, my friends, is shall we gather at the river, written music and text by the good doctor Robert Lowry. Thank you so much for joining me every Wednesday. It's been such a pleasure to share these hymns and these fun stories with you. And I can't wait to share them with you in person in the coming months. So I hope you have a wonderful week, Hyde Park. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you next Wednesday.